Hello, this is a review of the tune McPherson's Lament. It's a 4-4 slow march. And what you see highlighted on this page are some of the key areas that we reviewed in today's lesson. And they're in order here in line one, then down here at bar three of line two. And then we have bars one and three of line three and bars one and three of the last line. And what all these phrases have in common is that they have a dotted quarter note at the beginning of them. And so probably the main function of this exercise is to help remember, help you remember how that dotted quarter note feels, how long it's held with the metronome in the background, and then how to move on to the next part of the phrase. So we'll get right to it. We're gonna play this at 45 beats per minute. And the first phrase will be this one. And the key here is to remember that we have this D throw with a, a dotted D. And when you have a dot on a quarter note in a 4-4 four, four march or 4-4 four, four tune, you need to hold that for two of the metronome clicks. And then you get to the next eighth note after it and then move on to the next beat or click. So we're going to do this in parts. We're going to do just the yellow highlighted with the blue outline right there. And I'm going to set the metronome at 45 beats per minute. You can hear that in the background. And it'll be a D throw with two clicks, and then a quick low A, and then up to the F. So on three, and one, two. And one, two. And one, two. And one, two. Okay, the next part of that phrase is what we call the run of four. It's not written as a run of four. It's written as a run of three with this note in front of it. But in reality, because you're holding this F, this, this um, eighth note F with a dot, you're holding it for quite a while. It feels like this, this note, this high A is part of the run, okay? So that run all by itself is just like this. Right? And that's what that run is. We're gonna do it on um, with the metronome and one and two. 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 One of the things you might have noticed when I said that was we're playing the high A, the beginning of that run. We're playing it on an and. I said one and two. And da da da. One and two. And da da da. Let's do it again. Ready? One and two. One and two. One and two. So hopefully that makes sense. It's in the middle of a beat. That's why we do it. So now we're going to put that whole bar together. This is bar three of part, part one, line one of McPherson's Lament. The whole bar. And we can go to the B afterwards to make sure that we finish the phrase. It'll be on three. Ready? One, two. Ready? One, two. Okay, so that is the phrase in line one, bar three. Now we're going to go down to line two, bar three. And this has the same thing in common with the, the bar above, that it has a dotted quarter note. In this case, it's a D throw again. And then here we have an F, which is short. This is a short F. It's, a, it's an eighth note. And then it goes down to an E. 
And in this one, you want to make sure you're not playing the grace note on the F. No grace note on the F, just the grace note on the E. So the purpose of this little exercise is to remember that there's no grace note here and to remember that you're holding this for two clicks on the metronome. So let's just get right to it. Without the metronome, it just sounds like this. Okay, ready? And one, two. And one, two. And one, two. And one, two. Okay, that's the end. That's the line two exercise. Just finished that. Next, we're going to go down to the third line of the tune. And this, this has different color coding. You can see it is a quarter note with a dot. It's a high A doubling, right? That we're going to hold for two clicks of the metronome. Then here's your eighth note, right? And then over here, we have a thumb grace note, right? A thumb grace note up to high G. So I just highlighted it in orange to kind of call your attention to it, just to remind you that that's what's going on here. Without the metronome, that phrase sounds like, okay, we're gonna do it with the metronome now. Okay, on three, and one, two. And one, two. And one, two. And one, two. And of course that is repeated in the in the, the line below right there. So those are the same. Then the next thing we're gonna look at is bar three of line three. And here we also have the high A doubling that's dotted. But in this case, we're going to an F and going down to an E doubling. We're not going back up to a high G. And so this is just to give you a feel for that. This part right here is the same as this dash part here at the front of this phrase. Those match. But their ending note changes. All right. So that's going to sound similar the beginning and then landing on an E. One, two. Okay, let's do it with the metronome. One, two. And one, two. And one, All right, that concludes line three. Now we have line four, and again, this is a repeat of above. So you've already done this. And then here, we just have a little bit of a reminder that this phrase here is exactly the same as that one. It's the same, okay? So again, calling your attention to all of the dotted quarter notes in this tune, and remembering to hold them for two clicks on the metronome. Enjoy.